Well, there's a new tool being used at Essentia Health St. Joseph's Medical Center in Brainerd that has revolutionized how technology is used in surgery. Our Clayton Castle has that story tonight. It's 2017, and although we don't have flying cars yet, robots have made its way into the surgical operating room at Essentia Health St. Joseph's Medical Center in Brainerd, presenting the Da Vinci XI system. The Da Vinci XI system uh, is the most technically advanced robot there is on the market. The Da Vinci robot allows surgeons at the hospital to perform more advanced operations in a minimally invasive and laparoscopic procedure, benefiting the patient in a number of ways. When we're able to do operations minimally invasive or laparoscopically, uh, it typically means that patients are recovering more quickly. It means that patients are in the hospital uh, less time, and most of the time it also results in less pain. The robot allows surgeons to attach instruments used in surgery onto its four arms. The robot is then operated by the surgeon at an operating station located in another area of the room. When the hospital began its robot program in 2008, the Da Vinci robot was primarily used in urological procedures. However, as new models are developed, other types of surgeries are now being performed using the robot. In more recent times, uh, general surgery has has started using the robot for more applications. And those applications are anywhere from inguinal to abdominal wall hernia uh, to complex uh, bowel operations. Uh, surgeons are also using the system to operate in the chest cavity, which we don't do here at St. Joe. Now, since the robotic program began here at Essential Health St. Joseph's Medical Center in 2008, the Da Vinci robot has performed over 500 surgeries. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The current XI model of the Da Vinci robot cost Essential Health St. Joseph's Medical Center $2 million, although 800000 of it was raised by the St. Joseph's Foundation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.